coming up on Access Episode 50. We've got F1 2012 as Game of the Week, all the latest news in our PlayStation briefing, the week's best from the PlayStation Store, fast cars in Silverstone in bonus level, Little Big Planet Developer Day hits Access All Areas, and we give the authenticity of F1 2012 one final test. I love the presentation of F1 2012. It does a really good job of making what's basically a billion dollar version of the school remote control car club look like a Bond movie starring fast bits of metal. And that's the job of the game in general, to take a sport with rules so complicated that barely anyone can understand them and make it palatable for an audience of people like me who thought for half a season that the curse system might be something to do with wizards. I curse you. Hamilton, I curse you. This this curse, this curse system doesn't work. Balancing my stupidity with the depth and realism that are the real hook of F1 is easier said than done. F1 2012 tried with a new young driver tutorial system that teaches you all the basics about DRS and turning and feels a bit like being in car school. Also new is the champions mode where you take on the six world champions still racing in Formula One in their favorite conditions like end of level bosses. And throwing a lifeline to safety car chasers like me is the instant replay system, which lets you retind wine, which lets you rewind time and make good your mistakes. Essentially, there's no getting away from the fact that F1 is an irreducibly complex experience. You're either going to have to embrace the fact that the difficulty menu's got more options than my actual car, or not bother at all. And you should absolutely bother because what's waiting for you is career mode, where you can pick a team, drive race weekends, and build up a reputation over five seasons of F1 championships. Even if you minimize qualification and your number of laps, career mode is still pretty full on, which adds to the authenticity because concentration becomes a serious issue and you're encouraged to bond emotionally with your pit side team. That's us out of the race. The steward of Black Flag, you. <sighs> Can't believe we're out. Park up, engine two off. Uh, I'm so sorry guys, I don't know what happened. But then again you shouldn't get too attached because the whole point of career mode is to impress in your slightly rubbish car to score a big name contract. <laughs> oh, McLaren have made an offer. Hmm, I have to tell Mike. I'll just tell him. Hey, good to see you again. Yeah, we should talk. I'll just check the lads are ready. Oh, the lads. Breaking up with your pit crew aside, career mode is still the best reason to play F1 2012. Codemasters has done a decent job of opening up the game to everyone, but the more arcadey modes can't match that investment of time and effort. F1 2012 is out on the 21st of September, and I recommend it more than doing an amateur version of a podium celebration in the cold. <laughs> Good news, fans of interviews and other conduits of information. It's time for all that and more in your PlayStation briefing. Actually, not more, just, just that. First, say hello to sexy sci-fi Remember Me, in which you rearrange the memories of enemies like a cybernetic jigsaw puzzle. Sounds to us like a mix of Philip K. Dick, Blade Runner and Mirror's Edge, eh? Creative director Jean-Max <laughs> Morris. I don't play the reference game with, with games, uh, especially, so I'm not going to talk about Mirror's Edge, but Philip K. Dick, uh, if, you're, if, if you're doing any kind of work on identity and extrapolation of, of, of trends into the future, um, you're following in his giant mammoth uh, footsteps. So, uh, you know, he's done everything and, you know, um, I think we'll wait for a long time before one, one, another guy like him come, comes back. Uh, but yes, definitely, and Blade Runner, definitely an inspiration. Something else to remember is the upcoming Golden Joysticks Awards. The voting is open right now and nominees include a ton of PlayStation hits like Journey, Resistance 3, Wipeout 2048 and the big one, Uncharted 3, for Ultimate Game of the Year. Don't just gawk in admiration, go vote and precipitate victory. Head over to goldenjoystick.com and click the heck out of everything. And with the summer over and the gaming good times back in town, just a reminder that as well as F1 2012, this week sees the release of PES 2013 and the still amazing Borderlands 2. Look at this massive gun we found! Sit all the way down, friends. That's your briefing done for now. We'll be back next week.
Rolling through verdant downloadable pastures now, it's the week's best from On The Store. Transporting us back through time this week to when we were sort of cool and liked electronica and skates is Jet Set Radio, available for PlayStation Plus subscribers today. This is a PlayStation debut for Sega's cult hit and should be played A because it propelled cell shading into video game vogue, B because it's got a soundtrack that makes Tron sound like songs of praise and C because it's just brilliant, OK? And speaking of brilliant, football's back! The type of football that's called FIFA 13 has liquid smooth dribbling and is a playable demo on the store right now. The even better news is that the full game is out on September the 28th, so you can spend a week or so brushing up on your tactical free kicks and first touch before getting online and smashing up your mates. Ditching turf for ice this week is EA's other massive sports franchise. Well, one of its other ones. It's NHL 13, with both the full game and trial version available for download today. If you're not au fait with ice hockey, then just think of it as like football, but with sticks and blades and a puck and lots of padding. Really not like football at all. And finally, it wouldn't be a PlayStation Store roundup if we weren't bulleting a few heads off zombies. Step up Resident Evil 6, a new playable demo of which is ready for download now. You'll probably notice it's a lot shootier than previous Resi titles, but don't worry, it's still full of zombie dogs, cramped shootouts and the lovely Ingrid Hunnigan. That's your lot from the store for now. We'll be back with more digital fun next week. Silverstone is sort of becoming a second home for us at Access, what with all those GT Academy events, but this week we were there for the British GT Championship, where current Academy champ Jan Mardenborough was competing for pride, glory and possibly a bit of money. To top off Jan's excellent race, it was also his 21st birthday, with presents including this watch, this cake and flipping Nora, a Nissan Duke! Watching events unfold was Access Competition winner Darren Lee, who not only got prime seats for the race, but was then taken for a hot lap around the Silverstone circuit itself. Lucky boy. Wait, on second thought, that, that's quite fast, isn't it? Thumbs up if you were sick! <laughs> only joking, looks like he's enjoying himself. Thanks to everyone at Silverstone and a very happy birthday to Jan. There's a distinctly Little Big Planet flavour to access all areas this week as we pop down to London for a day of fun and frolics with the chaps behind Little Big Planet PS Vita, Little Big Planet Karting, and Little Big Planet Crossplay, and some interviews too. Crossplay, it's a mini adventure, it's a DLC pack, it's a, it's a kind of like a nice kind of like compact mini adventure, but it's also a toolbox. So beyond the mini adventure, you, you're going to have this kind of like never ending stream of new cross controller games to play. It's almost like giving the tools to the, the community and, and, and seeing what people actually want to do with two screens. That's what's really exciting about it. I think people can cre create any kind of game they want now and they can make it look any way they want as well, which is, you know, it's going to be great. This is a game where um, it is all about carding, it is all about competitive multiplayer and having a lot of fun with that, um, but it is completely customizable and personalizable just like in Little Big Planet. Everything you could do in a prior Little Big Planet game in the creation mode, and we've got that, and we've only added to it. You know, we've had to because we're now working in 3D, we're now working with carts, so we've added new tools, new gadgets, and things to play around with. I think that uh, in Little Big Planet, you always had a chance, you know, to make it your Little Big Planet, you know, in terms of, you know, bringing stuff in, you know, customizing your character. People ask about the Sackboy as a character, but he's always been, you know, like this blank canvas, and you can put, you know, the costumes on, and you can, you know, make him, you know, your representation in the game. And I, so for me personally, I think that people have always, you know, it's always been about being a part of something uh, that has made people, you know, come to Little Big Planet and stay. Everyone that sort of got into that Little Big Planet, that ethos, it's got such charm for starters, but that community, they've just, they've just gone, they've gone nuts with it, you know, they, they've taken this, they've just, they've got there's such a, a will and a drive to create and to give all this to people for free, you know, they're not asking anything for it other than, Tell me what you think on the level. It's a whole genre in itself almost now, the Little Big Planet franchise, and you get to make it your world. Thanks to everyone at XDev, Tarsia, and United Front. We'll have more on Little Big Planet karting and crossplay very soon, whereas Little Big Planet PS Vita is out right now. Go get yourself some sack boy. Before we go, we thought we'd give the authenticity of F1 2012 one final test. So we selected brilliantly mad F1 wrecking ball Pastor Maldonado as our driver, and well, this happened. Yeah, 
that all looked in order. <laughs> Garage chaps, we may need a pit stop. We'll see you next week. That's all for Access this week. Hit the giant red button to subscribe to all our regular episodes and extra features. And if you enjoyed this week's show, don't forget to comment and like us. Like us! Thank you.